Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this version of Spell B or Spelling B, as we call it. Uh, Spell B is a very popular competition where we pronounce few words and you're supposed to write down the spellings of those words correctly. And you need to keep your ears very open. You need to understand the sound of the word and then write down the correct spelling. Also look at my lip movement because, you know, when you look at this person who is pronouncing the word, your work becomes a lot easier. So uh, without wasting any further time, let me share the rules. Rules are pretty simple. There are going to be 30 spellings. Five spellings will be very easy. 15 spellings will be of moderate difficulty. Five spellings will be difficult. And the last five will be very difficult. Now, do not be worried about this term very difficult because that is how we have you know, sort of segregated the spellings, but these very difficult spellings may not be so difficult for you, right? So we have considered the difficulty level based on an average student. So many of you may do it pretty easily as well. It may not be difficult for you at all. So uh, I will pronounce each word and then I repeat it. I'll tell the meaning of that particular word, repeat it one more time, and then I move to the next word. So you got enough time to listen to it carefully, look at me while I'm pronouncing it, and then write down the spelling as I am sharing the meaning of the word, and then check it, and finally move to the next one. Now, at the end of the competition, after I have given out all the 30 spellings, I will be reading out the spellings from the number one, again, number one to number 30. So from the very beginning till the very end, I'll repeat the word, words, and I'll repeat this time again twice. So you can understand that you have got enough time to listen to it, think about it, write down. In case you miss it, you can come back to the word again after the, uh, you know, after I've pronounced all the 30 words. So uh, without delaying any further, let me start with this version of Spell B for grades 6, 7, and 8. Now, we have categorized the grades based on the national education policy, and uh, this is for the middle school, right? Nine, uh, six, seven, and eight comes as the middle stage. Let's begin. Three, two, one, start. Number one, bread. Bread. Bread is a food made of flour, water, and yeast. Bread. Number two, chair. Chair is a seat with a back for one person. It may have arms or may not have arms. Chair. Number three, dance. Dance. Move rhythmically to music is called dance. We all love dancing, right? Number four, earth. Earth. Earth is the planet we live on. Earth. Number five, Fruit, fruit, fruit is a sweet product of a tree or plant, but some fruits are sour or bitter as well. Fruit, we all love eating fruits, don't we? Now we approach to the moderate difficulty level spellings. Be a little alert and listen to the word carefully. So number six, glacier, glacier. Glacier is a large mass, large mass of moving ice. Glacier is a large mass of moving ice. Number seven, horizon. Horizon. Horizon is the line where the Earth's surface and the sky appear to meet. It doesn't actually meet, but if you look far away, you know, in, you know the, the last point that you can see, you will see the land and the sky seems to meet. That is called the horizon. Horizon. Next, imaginary. Imaginary, it exists only in the mind, not in reality, right? So you imagine a few things. Imaginary. Imagine things that are not real. Next, journey. Journey. Journey is traveling from one place to another. So journey. Next, kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope is a tube with mirrors that reflect colorful patterns. It's a kaleidoscope. We can 
look inside a kaleidoscope and different patterns are visible. Kaleidoscope, latitude. Latitude is the distance north or south of the equator. Latitude. Next, majestic. Majestic, having or showing impressive beauty. Majestic, king-like. Majestic. Next, nebula. Nebula. Nebula is a cloud of gas and dust in space. So a cloud of gas and dust in space is called a nebula. Next, oxygen. Oxygen. Oxygen is a gas essential for breathing. We are all alive because we breathe in oxygen. Next, phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix is a mythical bar bird that is reborn from its ashes. So a mythical bird reborn from its ashes is called the phoenix. Quarantine. Quarantine is a period of isolation to prevent disease spread. So during the lockdown, many people were put in quarantine. Quarantine is a time when you're not allowed to mix with other people so that the disease does not spread. Next, rainbow. Rainbow is an arc of colors visible in the sky, especially after rainfall, right? So rainbow. Next, symphony. Symphony. Symphony is a lengthy piece of music for an orchestra. Symphony is a lengthy piece of music for an orchestra. It's symphony. Tsunami. Tsunami. Tsunami is a large sea wave caused by an underwater earthquake. Tsunami. Tsunami. Number 20, universe. Universe. All existing matter and space as a whole is called universe. Now we come to the difficult spellings. Five spellings are going to be difficult level. And I'm pretty sure you're not going to find this too difficult. So number 21, vaccine. Vaccine, a substance that stimulates the immune system. For example, during the COVID, we all took the COVID vaccine, right? Vaccine. Next, wildlife. Wildlife. Animals and plants living in their natural habitat is called wildlife. Xenophobia. Xenophobia is a dislike or fear of people from other countries. Xenophobia is also, you can say, fear of people. Xenophobia. Yacht. Yacht. Yacht is a medium-sized sailing boat. Yacht. Zenith. Zenith. Zenith is the highest point reached by any object. It can be a celestial object or any other object. The zenith is the highest point that you can reach. Now the last five spellings. Amphidextrous. Ambidextrous. Let me pronounce it all over again. Ambidextrous. Ambidextrous. Able to use both the hands equally well is called ambidextrous. Next, camaraderie. Camaraderie is a mutual trust and friendship among people. Camaraderie. Mutual trust and friendship among people. Next, ebullient. Ebullient. A cheerful and full of energy state is called ebullient. Facetious. Facetious. Treating serious issues with deliberate, inappropriate humor. So when you treat serious issues intentionally with humor that is inappropriate, it's called facetious. And the last word, grandiloquent. Grandiloquent. It's pompous or extravagant in language or style. When you are extravagant in your language, when you're using you know, bombarding words, 
or very different, no, glamorous or pompous words, I would say, grandiloquent. So let's revise and see, uh, you know, if you have missed any spelling. So the first one, bread, bread, chair, chair, dance, dance, earth, earth, fruit, fruit, glacier, glacier, horizon, horizon, imaginary, imaginary, journey, journey, kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope, latitude, latitude, majestic, majestic, nebula, nebula, oxygen, oxygen, phoenix, phoenix, quarantine, quarantine, rainbow, rainbow, symphony, symphony, tsunami, tsunami, universe, universe, vaccine, vaccine, wildlife, wildlife, you write it together as a single word, wildlife, xenophobia, xenophobia, the fear of people, xenophobia, yacht, yacht, zenith, zenith, and the last five, ambidextrous, ambidextrous, camaraderie, camaraderie, ebullient, ebullient, facetious, facetious, and the last one, grandiloquent, grandiloquent. So that's all students, your spell is over. I hope you did it well. In case you have missed out a few spelling and you couldn't write it properly, do not worry. You have all of us have next time. So you can go back home and check out the spelling and learn the spelling. We all are learners, right? So may the best student win. And no matter who wins or loses, you all tried it. So it was a great effort on your part. Thank you. Have a good day. Namaste.